morning for me yeah so first of all I need to try and wake myself up because I just got up and um, had a shower and put some clothes on to start ready to start this YouTube video so this is a marking the t today is the marking of a very important day of my fitness journey and I'll tell you in a minute what it is about obviously you already guessed by the title but I'm starting my first cut ever and you'll think what's the big deal well for me it is a really big deal and um, I never I never done any cuts um, before I've always been on the bulking side um, but I'll let you know why it will be so hard particularly for me but there is a lot of things now to take in consideration now because if you're thinking maybe to lose weight or to try a mini cut like me for the first time, there is a lot of things that you need to take into consideration. The first thing, of course, what is it for me? Let me let's see if you know. Let's do the door the explorer question time. What is it the most important thing that you need to think of? Calories. Exactly. Calories are and your diet is the most important thing apart from your training. You don't have to switch up your training. You can do the same training like you are. You don't have to do extra cardio if you don't want to. So, um, calories, right? I've been eating about 2,500 calories um, at the moment, but I kind of, since I came back from Miami, I, I think I, um, I went well, well, I went under anyway. So it's kind of like an intentionally started my cut. So I've been about 2,100, 2,200 um, around these calories, okay? So I'm going to try and start from a small little cut. You can cut your calories from, for example, 2,200 calories to 1500 because I'll starve to death and for quite frankly, I don't want to do that. So the easiest thing that is just why I'm in the kitchen now is to Cut them slowly every two weeks. I'll be adjusting them gradually So I'll be making breakfast with you to start with just to show you what I have and um, I've been having the same thing even on the bulk by the way So just so you know um, you don't have to completely switch off the diet as long as you track it and you have a little bit less of what you normally have so, always start with some crumpets and a protein shake as well. Very important for me, uh, um, one thing that I need to use religiously now that I'm start starting my cut, so hard at the moment, <laughs> um, is creatine. Um, so, creatine, I'll tell you in a minute why. Why creatine? Because creatine will help you preserve more muscle and build more muscle in a way, get so less, and it will help you with um, the building side of your um, muscles as well. So I need to make sure, that especially now that I'm on a deficit, I use supplements that help me hit my goals. So what are the things? Starting well, I've got slippery hands, and I can't open my crumpet pack. So, as I was saying, now what cru what is crucial really is consuming um, high protein diets, right? Because um, protein is what will help you build muscle, and of course, we can't really build that much muscle while you're on a cut because you need to be at least on a maintenance of surplus. Um, but it will help me preserve it as much as possible, right? Always check. Always has this lovely foam, clear weight, so you have to wait until it calms down basically before you can drink it because the foam will literally descend down. And here we go. I honestly need to sit on the floor for this because it's the only place I can get the nice angle while well, you can see my food and me at the same time, if you make sense. But, 
This is the finished product and I know it doesn't look very aesthetically pleasing for YouTube, but it's honestly really yummy. So I'm just gonna eat this up. It's honestly so yummy. Um, I actually usually put a banana as well when I'm not um, cutting, but a banana adds about 90 calories extra, so I need to save calories. So this is how you work smarter. You can have the same things if you like, but if you play out, for example, I don't want to get rid of a crumpet, um, I still want to be able to have two crumpets. So it's either that, or if you want to keep the banana, you could, for example, just have one crumpet. So you have the calories because the calories of this plus obviously the shake. Guys, if you eat protein shake, you need to count the calories because there is like a hundred calories on this. Mm. I'll tell you how many calories it was. So the whole breakfast was five hundred and eighty five calories which is perfect for me at the moment. I'll wash up and I will see you for the next tip. Okay, for me, yeah, I got changed. Um, I thought I'd just recompose myself a little bit, put a bit of eyeliner and mascara, that's what I mean, I don't put any other makeup. But um, leading to the second point of how to prepare for my um, cut is, I, given my history, um, and this is something that I've been um, completely honest with you since day one, I've been struggling with an eating disorder when I was um, in my teens, so 18 to 19, I was still struggling with an eating disorder, um, so I overcame it, I never wanted to, I never, I've always been on the bulking side of things because I've always been too scared to fall back on the same kind of cycle and um, of under eating etc but I know that this time is different I'm in a better place I know that I build muscle and you know I love to be able to see what I've built um, in the past five six years of my training because um, Obviously, you can see my muscles and everything, um, but when you're bulking constantly, um, you'll also tend to add fat, um, which is normal. This is why my face is a little bit rounder. Um, obviously, my stomach is a little bit fuller from the side. So it is normal to add fat. It's natural, okay? It's natural, simple as this. So it will just be interesting to see how once I cut, um, like, some fat of my body and um, whether I'll be able to show abs, I don't know. Um, I just would like to do it for myself if anything. Um, but as always, I'm gonna give you constant updates and let you know how it goes. Um, so yeah, let's start from a body update. We always start with this, even on our bulking um, videos, don't we? So I thought it's also the best way to track um, your progress rather than just weighting yourself on a scale, which is something that I will not be doing because I know that it used to trigger my past behavior. First thing in the morning, the first thing I used to do every single time was to jump on a scale. And if I didn't see the numbers shifting, it used to really give me a bad anxiety and, and it used to make me feel really upset. So scales will not be involved that much. Um, I will not be weighting myself. I don't own a scale in my apartment, in my place, no. So I'll go off according to how I feel, how I look, okay? I'll be doing a um, check-in. So this is how I look at the moment. Um, I'm going to try and tense and not tense. So this is me not tensing at all. Now this is me tensing. Tensing and sucking in as much as possible. Then doing this with flexing. Okay, and then this is me again not tensing, not doing anything. This is how my stomach is generally is. Okay, 
and I wear tens. This is how much I can do it. I can't do it any more than this. And now flexing and sucking in at the same time. Okay, 72 centimeters and 104. Okay, which is, it might be slightly smaller than what I did on my last bulking update, but it's because since I got back from holiday, I stopped bulking, so I stopped tracking, so that I could transition to my cut. Which leads to the third point, guys. I got my board for this. <laughs> I got my little board for this, pretending to be a nerd here, but... Deep down, I've always been a nerd, by the way, guys, since still. So, <clears throat> I just wanted to quickly go over um, the third point, which uh, basically I mentioned it in a way at the beginning of the video, and that is calories, right? So, calories, so in order to achieve weight loss or fat loss, so fat loss, fat loss, is achieved by having your calories calories that you consume in need to be less than your calories out okay what does it mean that the calories I'm not sure whether you can see it or not you probably can't even see it I'm just wasting time with this board on the tie but basically it means that the calories that you eat on a daily basis need to be less than what your body burns on a daily basis okay I'm not gonna do all this like crazy cut style I'm only gonna approach this by 200 calories so to make you understand, like I said before, instead of um, eating 2,200 calories, now I'm at 2,000 calories. I'll be doing this for two weeks and then in two weeks time, I'm going to cut to 1,000 and maybe 900 instead of 800. But I'll see how, how I'll do it because I want to do this very gradually. I want to take my time. I don't have to rush. Um, I want to take honestly all the time that I need for this. Um, because I know being well aware of my past behavior so I just need to make sure that I do this right and carefully with myself I don't know how I'll react as I said before if something gets triggered I will stop immediately and I will let you know but it's nothing dangerous as in the approach that I'm taking is sustainable and it's safe okay because I'm not cutting in a crazy a crazy amount of calories I'm not going to be starving myself I'm, I'm not going to have any crazy I'm still going to have whatever I want I'm not going to have any prison meals or crazy salads if you want to trim down or achieve your goals or lean out slightly you don't have to do an extreme diet please and um, if you want me to help you do this in a sustainable way in a sustainable manner link in the description below for one-to-one -one online coaching and customize a plan for you help you with your calories help you with your workouts and you don't have to do this unhealthy in an unhealthy way okay i can give you all the support and everything you need because i've done this with my clients already and um, obviously I've done it with myself in terms of building muscle, but also had clients that wanted to lose weight, etc. So I already know how it works and what works for people, okay? And um, that being said, I'm just going to head to the gym now and I will just see you there. <clears throat> I actually slightly changed my workout during hip thrust as my... <clears throat> very first exercise because at the moment I'm actually so bored with them um, I cannot be bothered doing them so I figured if I get them out of the way <coughs> straight away then I won't have to worry too much about them so that's what I'm gonna do so in terms of my training I'm not really changing anything for the reason that I'm doing a calorie deficit like it's not that I'm doing this at the beginning because I'm doing a calorie deficit. Training wise, I'm not gonna change anything that much. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna show you what I do um, very quickly for the session. I just wanted to quickly introduce you um, the purpose 
of the training and how nothing is really going to change just because I'm on a calorie deficit, if it makes sense. I expect my strength to kind of slightly go down with the fact that I'm consuming less calories. Um, but let's see. Um, also, I've just been away. I came back from, um, if you haven't seen my latest um, blog, I went to America and so I had a bit of a break from training and I cannot go heavy anyway as my normal one. So I will see how this weight feels to me and yeah, let's see.